I'm going to show you how I make my cauliflower chocolate porridge. Now stay with me here. Trust me, this is delicious. And if you're like me and don't want to consume grains because grains don't digest well for me, so I replace porridge grains with riced cauliflower. So in this saucepan I have two cups of riced organic cauliflower and it's just straight from my freezer, it's frozen. And then I, to this I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup of, um, you can add whatever milk you prefer. I like this product because the ingredients are filtered water and almonds and nothing else. So this is a very wholesome ingredient. I'm going to add, oh, about three quarters of a cup. Let's start with that. And depending on how thick you like your porridge, you can add more or less liquid. And Some then to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, which is a great antioxidant, by the way. And then I add some salt. And then I will add um, stevia to taste. Okay, I added about 10 drops of this. And you'll see, when, once I cook this, it's going to be very thick and nice. And then I'm going to add to that one ounce of unsweetened chocolate, another great antioxidant. And I, this is my favorite. Just make sure it's 100% unsweetened cocoa. Um, that is if you want the recipe to be sugar-free, and I do want the recipe to be sugar-free. Let me get this going on the stove. And um, I'm going to initially bring this to a boil, and once it starts boiling for about a minute, I'm going to simmer it on medium-low. Usually I do this for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm just continuing to stir this, and first of all, you guys, this smells incredible. It smells like hot chocolate. I just want to reiterate, this is not only a fantastic recipe for people like me who don't, for whatever reason, want to include grains in their diet, but this is excellent for children because, first of all, you're getting your veggies in with the cauliflower. That's never a bad thing. And then you're getting your antioxidants from the chocolate and the cocoa. And because I didn't use sugar, again, it's great for anyone actually. And it's a win-win because I get to enjoy, indulge, and I know that I'm doing something really wonderful for my body. This is just so comforting. It's, you can see, it's very like a traditional porridge and the aroma is so enticing. That alone is, you know, when your food is appetizing like that, it's, it's going to be goodness. This is going to really feed my body and my soul. So this is a wonderful treat. So it's bubbling now. And I'm just going to keep stirring it. I'm going to just turn my stove down to medium low. And I'm just going to stand here patiently and watch this pot and keep stirring until it thickens to my preference. Okay, so I've simmered it on the stove for about 10 minutes on low and it smells incredible. And I'm going to finish it. This is the best part. I have my ounce of unsweetened chocolate. I'm going to put that in and the residual heat from the cooking will melt this chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. And also the chocolate thickens the porridge further so it makes it more decadent and richer and indulgent. So this looks fantastic. And I wanted to also mention, this freezes really well, so you can make this ahead of time. This is a great snack for kids, adults, anyone who wants to eat yummy, wholesome food. So look at this. 
it's like porridge and it's chocolatey and I'm just going to I'll be eating this after I turn my camera off so I'm going to serve myself if you don't mind and I just I like to top it with uh, walnuts just plain raw walnuts walnuts are a great source of omega-3 fats so there you have it I'm going to really enjoy this like with my other recipes as you can see this is very simple and just a few ingredients but it's so yummy I can't wait to eat this and I'm going to right now let me know if you try this out please leave in the comments down below what you think once again to your health